Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is my story. STI and HIV testing wasn't something that I did. Uh, it's nothing that I gave thought to or even considered. It wasn't until late 2011 is when I discovered a lip note behind my ear and decided to get that checked out. The doctor told me that I should take some antibiotics and then come back. Um, during that period, you know, I became curious and wanted to know what caused lip notes. And I remember looking on the internet and scrolling down and saw the word HIV. And that's when I decided to get tested uh, because I knew I had, um, you know, sexual encounters that I definitely didn't protect myself and thought it was a good idea, at least to rule that out. So I remember getting tested in a small uh, local clinic and when I got called in for my results, I remember the doctor telling me that this was the first time that he ever had to tell anybody this. And that's when he told me that I was HIV positive. So I was diagnosed in November 2011. I remember just crying that day, um, not knowing what to do. Uh, I was so scared. And I felt so alone. And that moment, it was so hard for me. Because just living off that stigma where if you had HIV or AIDS, that you were gonna die. So that was what, what was running in my head, um, that I was gonna die. die. Um, I didn't know how to tell my family, my parents. I remember it was during the holidays and I wanted to wait until after the holidays had passed before I told anyone. So during that time was rough. Um, I didn't have anybody to confide in. Um, I didn't know anything about HIV or AIDS. I was just clueless. Um, my world collapsed. I remember just crying and crying and crying. Um, and I had struggled with drug addiction for many, many years. And during this time, you know, I had stopped using. But at this point, that's all I knew. Um, so I turned back to drugs. And I hated the drugs. I just didn't know what to do. You know, I just was so alone. Nobody to turn to. Didn't understand anything about HIV. It was hard. It was hard not knowing if I was gonna live or not what to do, who to turn to, and what was going to be next. I eventually pushed everybody away. I pushed my family away, pushed friends away, basically ran away. I even ran away from myself. You know, the best thing for me to do at that time was just to mask everything with drugs and just shut out everything about my diagnosis. I didn't want anything to do about HIV or anything to do with HIV. I didn't want to know about it. I didn't want to educate myself on it. I didn't want to take medication. I didn't want to see the doctor. I was even at the point where, you know, if I was gonna die, just let me die. You know, I didn't have anything to live for. I was so scared. I just didn't know what to do. It wasn't until I got into recovery from my drug addiction in 2015 when I was able to get a hold of my health. Um, I soon uh, discovered that HIV was not a death sentence and that I started to see the doctor on a regular basis and started taking my medication every day. And I learned uh, what undetectable men and uh, you equals you. Um, and I got involved with an organization um, that promoted HIV awareness and prevention, uh, which helped me 
um, educate myself all about HIV and AIDS. Um, I soon became uh, an employee of, of that same organization. Um, so now I work in HIV prevention and awareness. Um, I'm so happy and excited that I had this opportunity uh, that I get to live a full life. I get to give back. Uh, I get to be there um, for the person that is suffering uh, just like I was um, and just to ensure everyone that it's going to be okay. Um, and um, you can live a happy life. Um, so I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Um, and I thank you all for being here um, and remembering all those that did lose their lives and all those that continue to live. Um, so thank you for listening.